G'day crew, my name is Luke and you guys are watching part two of the New Zealand Spearfishing Diaries. Um, in this episode we start off in Coromandel and get out into some really nice blue water and um, into some big schools of kingfish. And then after that we head out into the outer Hauraki Gulf, uh, pre-snapper spawn and um, get into some really good fish towards the end of the day um, on a near vertical wall over some quite deep water. A couple of flukes pulled off there so that was pretty cool. Yeah, came home with a pretty, pretty good fee. Uh, remember guys, if you like this video, um, hit like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Um, it may not seem like much, but it does help. So if you guys jump on and subscribe, that'll give me a bit more motivation to put up more sort of weekly content, um, rather than just one big video a year. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So my mate Jeff came up to do a bit of diving uh, around the North Island. He's based in the South Island. So me and Jeff went out with another mate, Johannes. Now it was just shitty rainy day, and um, yeah, we went out wide and found just epic clean water. Now there's heaps of kingies, sort of between I don't know seven or eight kilo and up to probably 15 kilo, but. Um, yeah, not much else sort of going on, and that's quite typical for the spot out there. Um, but we didn't really put much work into snapper and stuff like that, but um, yeah, we didn't really see many, to be honest either. So yeah, we spent a bit of time um, hanging out with the kingies and filming them and stuff like that before we even started to pull the trigger. And then we ended up taking uh, one fish each throughout the whole day. So um, I think I shot the first one, um, just came down over this bit of reef here and um, saw a fish out wide and uh, ended up grunting it in. Fish makes a pretty notable turn to that grunt, and then um, yeah, whacked him. And then uh, Jeff and uh, Johannes took one each off, uh, I think, two different spots. And we got some footage and, and had a bit of a muck around and, and got some pinkies and stuff too. But I guess just a nice scenic dive, uh, nice clean water, and um, you know, good healthy population of kingies. So uh, yeah, after that, Jeff wanted to get into the snapper. So uh, me and Jay ended up taking him out to one of our spots um, that can fire sort of that time of year. So um, yeah, we worked all day uh, for bugger all result. The main sort of group of islands that we were working were not fishy at all. And uh, the hopes were sort of going down the drain pretty fast. So yeah, we ended up um, uh, working till about, you know, 5, 6 p.m. And then we just tried this one last spot that we had. Uh, that works on a specific tide. We got in there at about 6.30 or something, uh, right at the end of the day, and um, yeah, it was absolutely firing. You know, got in the water and um, we were shouldering right against this reef, and um, there's quite a lot of current and a, and a little bit of um, swell happening. And as we were sort of approaching this, uh, this pressure point, 
and making sure to stay close to the reef, um, I've seen this big snapper um, cruising. It, there's sort of a drop and it drops way down, you know, 50 plus meters. And I've seen this big snap sort of just cruising along at probably at two or three meters just under the surface out over the drop. So I thought I'm gonna have a crack at this. And um, I just dived down in front of him and just got to the, um, the bommie and the current was pulling my gun around. And I thought, oh, this is, nothing's gonna come of this. But anyway, I managed to just correct it and then pop over. And um, there's actually two really big fish there out in uh, the open water. And I pushed out just as this fish was leaving and managed to um, uh, get a spear into it. And then um, just took um, most of my reel line out. And I wasn't sure on the shot, I was because I didn't really see uh, where it went in. And the fish was raking quite hard, so um, it was hard to know if I got full penetration on it at that distance. And um, just by the way it was fighting, I knew it was uh, quite a solid fish. So I said to Jeff, uh, second shot, you know, second shot as soon as you can. Go, another shot. And I think I remember him yelling back at me, I didn't think we were going to be shooting kingies. And uh, I didn't say anything, because he obviously thought there was a kingie on the line. And I uh, got it up into, um, into a good distance and he got a, another shot on it. And uh, yeah, it was a bloody <laughs> nice big fish. So um, we knew that the spot was sort of on. boated that one and then uh, yeah we ended up just working this spot for um, the next sort of 45 minutes or so um, we were just sort of going down into this um, crevice and the snapper were just sort of schooling on the outside of it so that was sort of just where they were for spawn they're just um, all schooling up for, for spawn and eating salp and stuff like that um, on this pressure point Jeff went down and um, he smashed one over and then uh, I went back down and I was just like breaking up kinna with my knife inside the crevice and I even had quite a nice fish just sort of pop its head in uh, the crevice where I was to get a look at this kinna before it spotted me and uh, yeah it just shows you they were like right there so we're just trying to go down and get footage of them yeah at the very end of the day um, it was sort of dying off and it was a bit more difficult and we weren't really seeing much on, on every drop so I just pushed out to the end of this lip and had a good look over now there was a big um, snap just sort of floating out in the distance. Uh, really nice big fish, but way out of range for me and just swimming over that much open water wouldn't have been ideal. And um, had a nice fish sort of um, cutting up below me. Um, obviously I was just surrounded in demoiselles, so they do make viz quite bad, but they can um, cover you up too, which is quite good. So the snaps don't really know what's happening inside that, that school of demis. So yeah, this fish sort of cut up uh, within shot range and twacked it. And uh, yeah, ended up landing it, so uh, I was pretty happy with that. And Jeff had a couple of nice ones as well. So yeah, and Jeff brought his uh, nice camera to get some cool underwater photos and stuff like that too. Uh, we ended up jumping in uh, open water to try get some pics before the light went down. Didn't realize that the bro had the, the bilge pump running, pumping blood out of the back of the boat the whole way to this sort of open water spot. 
um, got these two snapper in the water and then looked down and there was a um, one and a half meter Marco sort of circling my fins. So straight back out, I thought bugger that. Uh, went back in coastal and um, Jeff got a nice uh, over under shot for us. So um, pretty, pretty cool bit of skill on the camera there with the dome. Um, so all in all, we had a pretty mean dive. Jeff is sort of smashing it, you know, and um, I think he just got a, a, a nice um, 25 pounder down in Tauranga as well. So yeah, pretty cool for him to come up here and um, get some uh, different species on the deck, some, some uh, you know, nice big snaps. Okay, Chris, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, I'm working on part three at the moment, so that one shouldn't be too far away. Uh, remember to hit like and subscribe if you guys uh, are into it, um, just to give me a bit of an indication that you guys want to see more of these videos. And uh, remember, if you guys also want to see like more of our sort of behind the scenes stories and, um, you know, quick one minute long clips and photos and stuff from our dives, uh, feel free to go and follow us on Instagram. And we put quite a few uh, bits and pieces on there and do like um, recipes and stuff in the stories and just little bits and pieces. So um, that's there for anyone um, that wants to go and check that out. So sweet. Hope you enjoyed this one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.